Hey, what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to another Logic Pro X sound design tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make that uh, yowl vowel type of uh, sound that's using a lot of dubstep music. So let's get right to it. Uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that we have a new instrument uh, brought up, which we do right here. Uh, of course, if you don't, all you need to do is hit this plus sign and it'll create a new track and you'll select the software track, of course. Uh, now we're going to go to our instrument rack and we're going to select the ES2 synthesizer and then stereo. Perfect. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move this over here so we see a little better. In fact, I'm going to make this slightly larger so that you guys can see what's really going on here. Awesome. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to our tutorial settings and go up to analog saw initialize. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start off with our uh, triangle wave. That's perfect. We're going to open up oscillator number two. And we're going to select the square wave. Nice. And we're going to take our blend. We're going to make this around 50-50. Or as close as we can get it. And let's go ahead and take a listen. So, uh, you know, it doesn't really sound like that, uh, you know, dubstep, vowel -y type of sound. But uh, we're going to go ahead and change that right now. Uh, next, what we're going to want to do is uh, select unison. That makes our sound a little bit bigger in the stereo space. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump to our router. Go to cutoff 2, make sure that is selected. We're going to go to our via. And we're going to go to velocity or velo. We're going to move this down a bit. Maybe around 30 or 40. That should be fine for right now. We're going to go to our source. And we're going to make that our uh, LFO2. So let's go ahead and jump to that. We're going to go to our uh, right in our LFO2 right here. And we're going to bring this down a bit to around, yeah, a 1 8 should be fine. So now we're getting this kind of wavy sound, which is uh, pretty much right on the money what we need. Uh, so we're going to go to our cutoff, okay, uh, of course, because we have our cutoff 2, which is right here on our filter. And we're going to bring this to around. Uh, 0.350 around there. Okay, that sounds cool. We're going to get our resonance and bring this up to around 40 or so. And of course, if you're, uh, you know, following along, you, you're going to want to go ahead and just, you know, move this you know, ever so slightly in either direction to your own liking, of course. See, I think this one has too much resonance now. Let me go ahead and bring up the cut, cut off. Okay, that sounds about fine to me right now. Uh, cool. So this is uh, pretty much the basic, basic principle of it. Now we can go ahead and play with our VA a little bit. Cool. Okay, that sounds fine right there. Uh, next, uh, to go ahead and make this sound more like different vowels going on, we're going to go to our audio effects and go to our distortion and select the bit crusher, then stereo. Awesome. Okay, so uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to degrade our sound a bit, and this is going to create these type of vowel sounds that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the middle C, and we'll kind of cruise along. Okay, cool. So now we got kind of have that uh, vowel -y sound that we're looking for. And we're going to bring up our resolution. Okay, that sounds fine. Of course, the higher the re resolution that you have, the more um, clearer it's going to sound. So I'm going to probably bring this up and then bring this back down just so you can hear the difference. Awesome. And that's how you make that uh, vowel sound in 
Logic Pro X using a little bit of sound design and of course the ES2. Now if you like the video, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And if you got some time, of course, check out the recordingconnection.com or actually www.recordingconnection.com. We're a fully accredited school and we teach uh, 101 with a, you know, industry professionals and professional studios in your ho hometown or at least near your hometown uh, so if you haven't checked this out already definitely uh, you know follow this uh, URL that's right in front of you www.recordingconnection.com and find out how you could learn in a studio near you I'm Eddie Martinez with the recording connection and of course I'll catch you guys on the next video peace